Hello guys! For today's vlog, we are going to visit three historical places. But since it's pandemic and for our safety, um, we are going to visit it virtually. Um, these three historical places are Casa Real Shrine, Baraswain Church and Museum, and lastly, the National Museum. So, let's go! So our first destination is Casa Real Shrine. Casa Real Shrine is located at Paseo del Congreso, Plaza Rizal, City of Manolos, Bulacan. It is open from Tuesday to Sunday at 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Casa Real served as a national museum and national printing press during the First Philippine Republic. or the Kalakalangkalyon. It is the first Trans-Pacific trade linking China and other parts of Asia and Philippines to the new world. This room is called War Room or Philippine Revolution against Spain and America. Casarayal also displayed the original copies of Tycoon Legends by the Spaniards. So this room is called Pagbabuo ng Bayan. This is the original machine gun of 1942. Casa Real also displayed the Japanese money or called the Mickey Mouse money. They also displayed the money used before in the Philippines. So for our second destination, we have Paraswing Church and Museum. Paraswing Church and Museum is located at Paseo del Congreso, Manolos, Bulacan. The museum is open from Tuesday to Sunday at 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Paraswing is called the Cradle of Democracy in the East.
Beraswain Church, or also known as Our Lady of Mount Carmel Parish, was established in 1859. The word Baraswain was derived from one place in Spain that was similar to Malolos. However, the original Baraswain was burned during the Philippine Revolution. The Baraswain was rebuilt in 1888. During the Philippine Revolution, Baraswain served as a shelter for Filipinos against the abusive management of Spain. Secret meetings and gatherings of Filipino revolutionaries happened here in Baraswain. That's why the Baraswain was named as Dungeon of Defiant or Baras ng Suwail. The Baras Reign witnessed the three important happenings in the Philippine history. It is the formation of First Philippine Congress, the composition of Malolos, and the inauguration of the First Philippine Republic. Beside the Baras Reign Church is the Baras Reign Museum. The museum has the gallery of what happened in the Philippine Congress and Philippine Republic. This is the carriage of General Emilio Aguinaldo. It is about to pass between the ranks of Filipino soldiers thrown up in formation in the churchyard of Baraswin. For our last and final destination is the National Museum of the Philippines. National Museum is located at Padre Burgos Avenue, Anita, Manila. It is open from Tuesday to Sunday at 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. National Museum or Pambansang Museo was built in October 29, 1901. The first area is called Hall of Masters. It is dedicated for Filipino painters in 19th century Juan Luna and Felix Resurrection Hidalgo. Some of their paintings are displayed in the National Museum, like Spoliarium and Assassination of Governor General Bustamante. The second area is called Reptile Room. This room served as a storage of different types of reptiles for research. As a part of the second area is the Open Room. It consists of Philippine artifacts used in 1980 during St. Louis Exposition. The third area is called the Wreck of the San Diego. This can be shown the trading and shipment of materials before. In here, it shows the history of the Spanish battleship when it clashed with the Dutch ship Mauritius in December 14, 1600. The fourth area is called Pinagmulan Exhibit A. Gives information of origin of the Philippine Islands and Filipino nation. We can see stone tools and fossils used by our ancestors in the early age. This gives us information about ancient humans, their environment, and their life. And we're done visiting three historical places. That's all guys. Thank you.